Hopefully you're not tired of chat GPT videos. This is my only, my second one, by the way. This one's gonna be a big one because I taught chat GPT how to write code for the Gutenberg editor. And what that means is at the end of this video, you're gonna be able to take chat GPT and have it create complete layouts for you. And I'm talking about the structure of your website layout, including the words for it, for whatever business you're making a website for. If you go back to my video two weeks ago, it was about how to have ChatGPT write all of the web page content. And I got to thinking, well, why can't it just write the code as well? Just eliminate that whole step of copying and pasting and having to build the website layout yourself and have it do the website layout and you just copy and paste the code in and I figured it out. Now, a lot of testing went into figuring this out. I'm gonna reveal it all to you right now. All that I ask is that you hit the thumbs up button right now. And if you're interested in this kind of content, click on the subscribe button. Let's get started. Now, it's important to understand that artificial intelligence, it works off of patterns, that's it. And we need to feed it the pattern for it to do what we want it to do. So first thing we need to do is create that pattern, the pattern of specially formatted code for the WordPress block editor. So we're gonna create a sample layout for ChatGPT to go off of. Now, every website is pretty much a series of sections and those sections have columns, they'll have headings, they'll have paragraph text, they'll have buttons and they'll have images in them. So that is all I want to teach ChatGPT how to create. So first we need to create that so that we can teach it to ChatGPT. So here I am, it's just a blank page on this website. I named it training and let's go ahead and, and start using some of the core WordPress blocks so that we can teach it how to work with them. So the first thing I want to do is put the group container in like this, and then I want to put inside of the group, I want to put in two columns. So I'll click on columns, I'll choose two. And then in the first column, I wanna put a heading cause I want chat GPT to know what a heading is. And I've gotta put some text in there. There it is, this is a heading. I'll hit the enter key and I'll put in some paragraph text. Then I'll hit the enter key and I will put in some buttons. And then I put a simple label button text. And then in the second column, I wanna put an image. Here it is. And I'm gonna click right here, it says insert from URL. You could put the direct URL to any image that you want. I thought it would be fun to take the Elementor placeholder image right here. So I've got the URL, I'm gonna paste it in, hit enter, and there it is. So this is what I wanna teach ChatGPT on what to create. But how do I get this into ChatGPT? What we need to do is go into something called the code editor. And it's simple to get into, just click the three dots on the top right, and it says right here, code editor, we'll choose that. And this displays all of the code that is used to generate that simple layout that we just saw. So what we wanna do is highlight all of this, and we're gonna put it into our clipboard. Now for step two, I'm gonna show you the prompt that I used with this code to give to chat GPT so it would know exactly what I wanted to create. I'll read the prompt. You can tweak it all that you want. This is what works for me. It says right here, act as a WordPress Gutenberg code writer and expert copywriter, because we're gonna have it do both things at the same time. You will be creating a website for a mobile dog grooming business named Happy Paws. Now this part right here, you want to describe the business and if it's a business that ChatGPT should be aware of, you don't have to go into a lot of detail about the business, but you can try for see how your results end up being. But ChatGPT is gonna know what a mobile dog grooming business is. That's why I just, I just say what the business is and I give the name of the business so it can be used throughout the website copy that it's going to write for us. It says, I will instruct you to create one section of the website at a time and you will write the code for that 
that I can copy and paste into the Gutenberg code editor. You will also write compelling words for the website. So there's this part here where I say you will create one section of the website at a time. The reason we need to have ChatGPT create one section at a time is because it has a character limit. So if you wanted to say, give it specific detailed instructions on the entire web page layout, it's going to exceed that character limit. It's just not going to work. It'll stop somewhere in between. Okay. And so then I say output should be formatted like this, but inside your code editor so I can copy and paste it. Even though I ask for it to go in the code editor, it doesn't do a good job of doing that. And you'll see what I mean in a moment. Uh, then right here, I will paste the code in. And then it says, all your output must be in your code editor. I ask a second time, never listens. And then I say, if you are ready, say ready. So let's go ahead and paste in that code that will be used as the training data. Let's highlight and copy all of this. And then we're going to put this into chat GPT. I'm going to say it's hard to say chat GPT over and over again. All right. I'm going to paste it in. Now, if you've used chat GPT, you know, your mileage may vary at this point. It might be overloaded. It might say error. It's like a dozen different things that it might say. So I don't know. Oh, looks like he's ready pretty quick. I'm ready. What would you like the first section of the website to be about? Fantastic. So I've got this instruction right here. Create a hero section with a title, a tagline, a call to action button in one column and an image in the second column. So what you're doing is you're describing the layout and what the purpose is of this section. And ChatGPT is going to take that training we just gave it. It's understanding about the business and it's going to give you an output. Now, I have noticed in some of my testing that you might get better results if you remind ChatGPT at this point what it is, the information about the business, the type of business and all of that. But let's just go ahead and take this. Okay, I just pasted it in. Let's hit enter and see what it gives us. Now I've got to say out of every single time I tested this, not once did it give me the output in the block inside of their code editor where I can click this button right here and copy and paste it. It did this time. So when you're doing this, it might not, and you'll just have to highlight the code and, and copy it and paste it. So if I go to a prior chat, this is what it was looking like. You just had to copy and paste it inside of the code editor. Uh, but right now it's actually given it to me. So let's see how this works. I'm going to click right here where it says copy code. Now what's nice because it's in the cop, the code editor, I should be able to copy and paste this right directly into my website layout. If not, I'll have to go and put it inside of the code editor. So I've got a new page I created on the site here. I named it chat GPT created. And let's just try pasting that code directly in because it gave it to us in the code editor. And here is what we have. Now, what I've noticed is when I paste it in. Sometimes there's an issue with a heading and you simply need to click right here where it says att attempt to block recovery. And there it is. So it looks like I've got a great first section. If I expand this to go into the list view, I have my group, I have my columns, my two columns, and it's all just formatted exactly as I instructed it to. So now let's ask chat GPT to create our second section. So I'll paste in the instructions and I'm asking this time, I say, create a section for details about services, including section title and subtitle and info plus descriptions on four of our services with one in each column. So again, I'm describing the purpose of the section and I'm describing the, the structure of the section. Now, the only thing I want to do is I want to remind chat GPT of the business just in case it forgets because it's forgotten for me in the past. So I've rephrased it a little bit, create a section for details about happy Paul's mobile dog grooming services. So hopefully that's a little bit more for it to go off of. Let's see what we get. So far, it's looking good. I can tell from reading the code, we've got a heading called our services underneath it, a description about it, 
And then what I can see is then it creates columns for me, which is exactly what I wanted. The columns have the service description or the service name and then the service description, which is exactly what we wanted. And so we'll let this finish and then we'll copy and paste it. All right, so it just finished. I like how it ends it. Please let me know if you'd like to make changes. That's what's nice. If there was a change you wanted, you could just ask and it will spit out the change. Okay, so it did it again in the code editor. I tell you, this is the first time. So I'm gonna click on copy code and let's go ahead and paste it into our website editor to see how it did. All right, uh, here was the first section. I'll click here and I'll just paste it directly in. And I gotta say, it got it right again. So let me expand it. It's in a group. We have our heading, we have our subheading, and then we have four columns in each column has a heading and a description of the service, and it's looking fantastic. Now let's throw ChatGPT a curveball and ask it to create a pricing section for us and see how it goes. This time I'm asking ChatGPT to create a section for Happy Paws Mobile Dog Grooming pricing, including a title, a subtitle, and three prices, one in each column with benefits and an order button in each column. So now we're really going to put chat GPT to the test. And I don't know what to ex expect this time, but let's just see what it gives us. Ah, you can see this time it didn't put it in the code editor, just like I'd been saying, which is good for this video because then we'll just manually copy and paste it in. Okay. So it looks like chat GPT ran out of output characters. Remember there's a character limit on it. So if you're going to ask this, you might want to ask it maybe just a, few, a little bit fewer details to go into it. I asked it for a lot, a lot of structure, a lot of pricing plans, a lot of description. So you can see it outputted all the code, which is fine. And it kind of got cut off here, but that's okay. We'll try to fix it. So I'm going to highlight all of what it gave me and I'm going to put it into the clipboard. And then on my site, I need to go into the code editor like this. And I'm going to go to the very bottom and I'll click here. I'll hit the enter key and let's go ahead and paste it in. So it looks like it stopped outputting the code right around um, the last service when it was listing out bullet points of the benefits. So let me see if I can fix this. Okay, I think I fixed it. This is gonna be unexpected results. Let's see, exit the code editor. Let me attempt a block recovery like that. And I've got a pricing table. So here is my heading for the section, subheading. And I've got three packages right here. They include details. They have bullet points uh, talking about what's included. And I have an order button. Wow. So you might be thinking, great, it's in the WordPress block editor, but I use XYZ block editor package. But did you know that most of them have conversion options. So you can convert the container to the container system of what you use, the headings, the paragraph text, the buttons to what you use. And it's very easy, so let me show you. So I'm gonna click on what's called the group block right here. And you can see right there, there's a little icon in the toolbar and when you click on it, you can see it says transform. So I can transform it to container. Now I have Spectra installed on this site, so I can convert this to the Spectra container. And now it's going to start working with my full width layouts and all of that. Now there's another way of doing this. I can go into the list view and I can expand the different items. And I can do the same for each of these parts. So I've clicked on columns. I can click right here. Oops, let me click on columns. Click right there, transform it to container. So now it's, let's expand this. It's fully converted over to the container system inside of Spectra. And I can go inside of the first column right here. I can click on the heading and let's convert that into Spectra's heading. So now it's in Spectra's heading format. I could do the same thing. I leave paragraph the way it is. And so you can just continue doing this as you go through, you can do the same thing for the image. I can click on the image 
and I'll convert it to Spectra's image, which has some really nice formatting options. As with anything chat GPT related, your mileage may vary. So you saw when I was using it, I got the code editor and then I didn't get the code editor. So there is sometimes uh, it's a little on the inconsistent side, but this is a great way to generate layouts with the copy in it, convert it to your block packages of choice, add some background color, some styling to it. And what's really nice is it's already going to inherit the different topography styles, font styles, the button styles, and all of that from your WordPress theme or whatever you have set in there. It's just creating these layouts adding a little bit of design to it and you are good to go. Now, if you want more AI kind of content like this, I do have a newsletter and I have a link inside of the video description. You can click on that and sign up for the newsletter where I send out information like this, these tricks that you can use in your business to speed up your workflow using smart tools like AI. And now that I've given you some of my prompts, I want you to give me some of your prompts. When you're trying this and you discover certain things, maybe descriptions of sections that you want that work out really good for you, why not share it in the comments section down below so that it can help other people as well. Thank you for watching this video. Keep an eye on the channel for more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one.